called to the missions. We're all called to be missionaries. The proof in baptism. After you're baptized, the priest anointed you, your head, with holy chrism, calling you priest, prophet, and king. Prophet is someone who announces the good news of the kingdom. Next, you are confirmed, if you're confirmed, the bishop anointed your forehead and said, Receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That moment, an infilling of the Holy Spirit took place within your soul. But then afterward, in the celebration of the Mass, the bishop said, Now you are called to defend your faith and to spread your faith to defend your faith and to spread your faith. Missionary. Here's another proof. The last words of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ before He sent into heaven. You can read it in Matthew chapter 28, the last few verses. Jesus says, All power in heaven and earth has been given to me. In speaking to his disciples, he said, Go therefore, and teach all that I taught, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And behold, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. And Jesus ascended in heaven, where he sits at the right hand of God the Father. Two of the greatest missionaries last century obviously would be Mother Teresa of Calcutta who founded the Missionaries of Charity and Saint Pope John Paul II. John Paul II wrote an encyclical on the missions, which is called Redentor Missio, the mission of the Redeemer. He says that all of us are called to be missionaries, but he says the mission field, the best and most efficacious mission field today, are the big cities. Why does he say the big cities? Because there are so many souls in the big cities. New York, Philadelphia, Chicago, where I am, Los Angeles, Buenos Aires, Tokyo, City of Mexico, Manila. These are cities that have million, millions of people. The harvest is rich and the laborers are few, our Lord said. So pray seriously over this and recognize that you are called to be a missionary. You're called to bring many souls to the sacred heart of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ.